Now in today's video, I'm going to show you all of the ways that you show a woman weakness without you even realizing it. And if you show a woman weakness, you're going to take women who looked at you, like you're going to actually find women who are choosing you, women who are giving you choosing signals, women who viewed you as a nine or 10. This is the type of women who are heavily sexually invested in you. And slowly they view you as an eight and then a seven and then a six. And then all of a sudden you're wondering what happened. This video is absolutely crucial to understanding female nature at the deepest level. So I'm going to show you not only how you can actually be the type of guy that gets a woman obsessed with you, but on top of that, I'm going to show you the things that break a woman's attachment. So that way you don't make majority of the mistakes that 99% of guys are making. Let's dive in. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a woman crazy obsessed with you. And what this stems into is understanding the basics of female nature and the basics of female nature only comes through. And you truly understand this and see this in the world for what it is when you understand how a woman tries to bitch you. Now, if you don't know how a woman tries to bitch you consciously or subconsciously through tests, pullbacks, fishing for validation and understanding where you fucking stand with her, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. I don't care if you're 16 years old and dating for the first time and have a crush on the hot chick. I don't care if you're in a fraternity and you're trying to wheel women. I don't care if you're CEO of a fortune 500 company, you got to understand how a woman tries to bitch you. Okay. When a woman tries to bitch you, there's a fundamental loss of respect. So we're going to dive deep into this. Okay. When a woman tries to bitch you, what you're going to start to notice is this right here is when she starts to bring out or break out her list of demands because she feels like she has leverage. If a woman feels like she has leverage, she knows she has your ultimate validation, which is your commitment. So if you notice, psychological or subconscious nuances where she's got lists of demands, acting like she has tons of leverage and say in the relationship. Not only that, she seems cold, distant or masculine, or she stops throwing that ass back and craving to have sex with you. See, that's the other thing you got to understand. A woman, when she is obsessed with you, uses that sex to get time. And you're going to notice that when she's with you, she's dripping wet. She's on top of you. Okay. She's wanting to even initiate things like makeouts. She's wanting to please you. She's doing anything to seduce you. So when you guys are doing all of this stuff to try to raise a woman's buy-in temperature, like you got to understand just at the lengths a woman will go sexually to please a man that she has high interest in. Okay. A man, a man who she has high interest in is going to be pre selected by other women. It's going to demonstrate that he has a social life of abundance and fundamentally doesn't need her. So the whole reason why a woman loses respect and tries to bitch you is because you have provided too much certainty. Okay. Certainty kills attraction and certainty kills desire because certainty reveals your SMV, your sexual market value. Okay. And it decreases her chance of looking at you like a mystery. So you might be sitting there wondering, well, how do I make a woman view me as a mystery? Okay. I'm going to tell you, you have to have a 10 year play, a 10 year play on info. Now, when I talk about a 10 year play, I'm not talking about, okay, how do I court this woman for 10 years so I can get a wife out of the deal? No, no, no. That's not what we're talking about. You got to look at this at a deep level. When I see a 10 year play of info, I want you to look at this as any Hollywood love story or any long novel that a woman reads and wants to get invested into. Okay. What I mean by that is you, if you, whenever you're with a woman, especially an attractive woman that you genuinely would want. Okay. We're talking an eight, nine or 10 and preferably the nines and tens. Those of you who have your shit together, mean you're making seven figures a year. You're able to travel. Oh yeah. I understand you want the hot women, the women on Instagram who have big asses, the women on Instagram with curvy figures. You want to view yourself as a 10 year novel. Now I'm not saying you're going to be with like, keep in mind um, when I explain this concept, this is crucial right here because I'm not talking about, you're going to try to date this woman for 10 years. You're going to try to maintain 10 years worth of interest. What I'm talking about is you want to look at yourself as a, it, you, if you, if you're trying to get a super hot woman, you say, Hey, if I was a 10 year novel, okay, what's a 10 year play of info that I would slowly use to reveal myself. Okay. You want to make it so that way the woman has to unfold you and uncover you page by page. And you, the only way you do this, because women's attraction is a slow turn dial. It happens over weeks, months, and years of pursuing a man's validation. You say, Hey, if I was to only reveal myself for 10 years, how slowly would I take this process? This is how you do this. Okay. The reason why certainty kills mystery. Okay. The reason why certainty kills mystery at the deepest level is because this now gives validation. 
Okay, validation is anything that requires you to demonstrate that you're willing to give time, attention, validation, compliments. This can be things like validation, check-ins, okay, texting, time spent, saying things like good morning, sitting there watching movies. Okay, if you spend two, three, four, five, six hours on a couch cuddled up with a woman, she knows damn well that you like her. Okay, now, relationship is the biggest investment. So when I say 10 year play of info, you wanna look at yourself as if this woman had to uncover me for 10 years, how slowly would I reveal myself? The way you do this is you live by a motto. The motto that I live by is this, the hotter the flame, okay, the shorter the burn. The hotter the flame, the shorter the burn. The hotter the flame is in the beginning where she starts to get all of this info about you and you reveal yourself quickly, it's going to be hot and heavy for a very short period of time and then it fizzles out. The slower the burn, the longer the play, the more mystery. Certainty kills mystery. This lowers your sexual market value. So when you start to realize this, when you want to unfold and uncover yourself slowly, you start to realize a key grasped concept that 99% of men fail to understand and that is men are not designed to spend long amounts of time with women. Everything that you see in mainstream media, everything that you see day to day, okay, of how guys are consistently going on dates with girls, consistently checking in, consistently FaceTiming them before bed, asking how their day is going, asking how their girlfriends are doing, trying to get involved with their life. This is the shit that kills your mystery. This would not be a 10 year play on info. You want to look at yourself as something that she has to peel back layers and uncover. The way you do this to get yourself out of the beta mindset of consistently trying to check in with a woman is you want to let her come to you, which means if you looked at yourself as a 10 year play, how slowly can you get this woman to unfold you page by page? This is what creates narrative and mystery in a woman's head. Men are not designed to spend large amounts of time with women. So the base principle you got to understand from the get go is un uncertainty equals, hey, I am higher value than you. A woman needs to know that you're higher value than her. And the only way that you demonstrate this is by having mystery to you where you are not ready, willing, available, and able to commit, meaning that you are making her unfold you page by page. And you tell yourself the only way you demonstrate that skill is you, even if this is a too short a time frame for you, take it 20 years. Say, hey, how, how could I make this woman unfold me page by page where she's just obsessed and hooked? So a woman tries to bitch you when there's loss of respect. If there's loss of respect, you're never going to be able to reverse the roles, which is why the middle column here, we're going to talk about role reversal, okay? When a woman has interest in you and you have interest in a woman, you have to understand how to reverse the roles of pursuit. See, here's what you gotta understand. In the beginning, when you're talking to a woman in any way, shape, or form, this could be the approach, the text messages, setting up those dates, okay, and getting her invested into you. In the beginning, it's all you. So think about it. If men do all the dates, men are doing all the initiating, men are doing all the pursuing, you are now in the weaker position. From the beginning, I would say nine times out of 10, majority of men, unless you are ultra famous, ultra high net worth celebrity, we're talking Leonardo DiCaprio, Denzel Washington level, okay, you are going to have to do all of the pursuit in the beginning. That means you are in the weaker position. Now, Despite her putting you in that weaker submissive position, you gotta understand this, her deep feminine biology, she wants to submit. She wants, and I'm gonna even come back to this 10 year play in a second, so I don't even know if I'm explaining this properly, but at the end we're gonna recap this. She wants to submit. She wants to follow your lead, okay? She wants to have psychological pull towards you where she looks at you as higher value, and she wants to be uncertain where you stand because this, this emotional turmoil where she doesn't know if you like her or is seemingly hot and cold, this right here is the emotional impulses you need to get a woman to fall in love. So here's what happens. Since she has a deep crave and a deep love to submit to a man, you have to understand how the roles must be reversed. As soon as you have built the attachment where she's consistently checking in on you or you guys have had sex, meaning that you've technically fulfilled your desire of spreading your seed, spreading your biology, okay, reproducing potentially. Okay, this is where she needs to start to invest and do that pursuit with you. That means you need to start to let her do the pursuing. And how do you do this? Is you tell yourself that you're detached because you're a 10 year play. You tell yourself, hey, if she goes out and she finds a better option, good. Because this right here is the ultimate abundant mindset. If you, if you tell yourself, hey, women are hypergamous by default. Women are consistently looking for the biggest, baddest, strongest dick. The biggest, baddest bang for their buck. The only way you remove yourself and can be detached is you tell yourself, hey, if she goes and finds a better option than me, good. Good, like, good for her because she should go with him then. But see, when you actually operate this way, very, very rarely are you going to ever have a woman who doesn't have strong psychological and subconscious nuance of attachment towards you. But you have to understand how to reverse the roles. 
Once you notice this attachment has been built and you guys have had sex or intimacy, this is when you need to start to flip the script and ensure that the woman pursues you. So in the beginning, since you're in the weaker position, okay, the loss of respect, this is why I have this highlighted up here, the loss of respect only comes when you don't know how to reverse these roles. So when you understand on a base level, okay, that it's a woman's job to do the pursuing to keep the relationship steady, okay, once she thinks you are attached or you're attached more than her, okay, she's going to pull back. 100% she's going to pull back because what you got to understand is this is feeding her hypergamous instinct to tell her that, hey, the man is more attached than, to me than I am to him. Therefore, he is of lower value than me. This is all psychological. So once she thinks you're attached, she will pull back. The reason being is because she's starting to regain leverage. Okay, a woman does not want to have the leverage in the relationship whatsoever. And this is the one thing that you got to get out of your head is that 50 50 relate like I invest 50% into her, she invests 50% into me. That sounds great on paper. And you're going to hear this from a lot of people, okay, especially older generations who maybe don't understand the world for how it is today. 50 50 doesn't exist. A woman needs to consistently be looking up to a man and have readiness and willingness to please him inside and out of the bedroom because this is her genuine role of wanting to care for a man or cling on to a man of higher value or of higher status. You feed her hypergamous nature and her hypergamous instinct by focusing on you, on yourself 24 seven. That means you do whatever the fuck you want to do. You live life on your own terms. Get you, you gotta understand I'm I, like, I, and you, you're going to get fight and feedback from people of older, like of older generations. To this day, my mom, my sisters, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, like, people will say, hey, when, when are you gonna settle down? Or why do you live like a bachelor? Okay, if you got your own house, you got your own crib, you gotta understand you're gonna be judged for living this way because it's so fucking rare. But what you have to understand is majority of men's dating lives are completely fucked. The only way that you can actually get into this mindset, this mindset of being higher value, Okay, or of not letting a woman bitch you, or of not having that loss of respect, is you're gonna have to have a total brain rewire. And what I mean by that is you need to remove, okay, I'm gonna say this is so important, write this down on a sheet of paper if you have to. You need to remove your base need for love and intimacy. And I don't care if that makes me sound like a heartless prick, I don't care if that makes me sound evil, I don't give a rat's ass because a man cannot need, desire, or crave a woman's validational touch or intimacy on any level or you're going to be left with some serious repercussions for acting like a bitch. So how do you remove base need for love and intimacy? What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take a step back and you're going to have to observe the world as if you're an observer and not just somebody in it. So what I mean by that is you got to start to reprogram your brain of how a man acts. That means you're one to two steps removed. And instead of being involved in it, you detach yourself and you start to observe the world. So I'll give you an example. Anytime you go on Instagram, you go on Facebook, you see family photos. Anytime you see a picture of a guy with his arm around a girl acting all lovey dovey. Okay. You need to know deep down that he's instantly fucking up. And even if she appears happy in that moment, she's going to lower respect. And it's going to lower desire just a little bit. And every time day by day, that that man keeps acting that way, she's going to consistently lose respect and lose desire for him. Any public displays of affection that you see, you see a girl and a guy at a bar, they're sitting down eating together, he's got his arm around her all hugged up trying to make her close. Okay, that level of attachment or that level of urgency, that level of commitment of needing to prove in public and show, hey, she's with me, these are the things that kills desire. The reason being is because if a man acts lovey-dovey to a woman, she gets a sense, hey, this guy has not been here before, this guy's not used to pulling women of my caliber. This guy is really needing to show and to have check-ins to make sure I still like him and I'll touch him back or I'll give that intimacy back. Okay, this reveals your sexual market value and she gets a sense that this is not an everyday common occurrence for you. You need to be chill and laid back as if no, and I don't care if you're with a total dime Victoria's Secret model, if you can chip, sit back and chill and act as if this isn't your first rodeo, this is the type of man that a woman actually genuinely craves and wants. So anytime you see, okay, Easter pictures together, Christmas pictures together, guy holding the girl's hand first, guy walking down and trying to give her a kiss on the cheek in front of everybody to prove what a loyal, diligent guy he is. This is the shit that will start to destroy your attraction. 
Okay, holiday pictures. She's got you acting like a goofball. She's got you wearing matching pajamas. Anytime you see this stuff, Christmas cards, pictures, videos, you need to be one to two steps removed. Not only that, look at how your friends are acting. If your friends are sending check-in texts, lovey-dovey emojis, kiss emojis, consistently telling a woman how much they love her and they crave her and they want her affection and saying, love you, baby, love you too. This is the shit that drops desire. This is when a man fundamentally isn't acting like a man. Not only that, pay attention to every single movie that you watch. When you see the guy giving a dozen roses and it's Valentine's Day and him trying to set up dates and pursue and pursue and pursue and get a woman and get a woman and get a woman, this is exactly where they where like this is exactly where most men are. And this truthfully, you gotta understand it's being done to emasculate you. When you do these things, you're gonna become emasculated. This is when the bitchy behavior happens, this is when the pullbacks happen, this is when loss of respect happens. So how do you do this? Once again. You make yourself a 10 year play. I'm not talking about a 10 year play, okay, where you're gonna have 100% be with this girl for 10 years. I'm, talk, I'm talking to yourself, hey, like if I'm, if I'm on, like how, how do I make myself so engaging, so intriguing, that if, if I had to hold this person's attention and get this person thinking about me for 10 years, how slow would I reveal and how slow would I uncover myself? Because this is the key, any validation, the more time you spend, the more good morning text, the more any of this destroys attraction. A high value man can spend one hour, two hours with a woman once a week or once a month. And if she pegs him as a true alpha who has options that she respects at the highest level, meaning loss of respect is not there, this is a woman who's going to consistently keep seeing a man. So the reason why you gotta understand this is because those of you chasing women out at bars and clubs, those of you doing pickup artist type tactics, those of you who are out trying to game on social media and on uh, these dating apps and stuff like that, this is the exact thing that puts you in the frame of being at lower value where in the beginning you're doing so much chasing and so much pursuing that what happens you're in the weaker position. And if guys don't know how to reverse the roles to get her to pursue you back, this is where not only the attachment is never built on her end, but this is where you're consistently at the lower value. So anytime you see this, okay, in the world, you need to understand that it's your job and your duty to remove the base need for love and intimacy. As a man, the way that you've been programmed based off of how the world has been displayed in front of you, you can't help what your eyes and what your ears have seen. So this is where you have guys who are six foot four solid alpha males, but because of the because of the way the world is set up and because of what their eyes have seen, perception becomes reality. And if your perception is that a man who's with a woman acts like a goofball, a man who's with a woman, okay, sends all these kissy faces and, and acts weak and has to send good morning texts and check-in texts. If you are constantly, your eyes see that reality is where in the movies, the guy gives us a dozen roses and all this stuff, you have to understand this is the stuff that's destroying your attraction. So key concepts, okay? Here's how a woman is going to start to lose respect, okay? The more validation you give, the more attention and time kills the mystery, the less mystery you have, the less she desires you, and the less mystery that you have makes it where it is impossible for you to reverse the roles of pursuit. If you can't ro reverse the roles of pursuit where you are able to flip the script, where in the beginning it's you doing the pursuing, later on once the attachment have been built, it's able to get hurt in the, in the role where she's chasing your validation and your approval, this is where you're not going to be able to maintain a relationship. A woman has to be able to look up to a man 24 seven. Okay, only then, when you understand these two concepts, can you understand the third concept where once she thinks you are attached, here's what's gonna destroy a lot of you guys on a deep down level, is a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are gonna be in two to three year relationships. And you're gonna say, well, what the hell happened in the beginning? Okay, maybe I didn't even want her. In the beginning, maybe I didn't even necessarily want to commit. But as you've grown that attachment, okay, she started to look at you as a nine or a 10 in the beginning, when you were something to chase and something to pursue, you're a true mystery. As soon as you started giving, okay, back into the commitment the way that she was, and as soon as you start giving the kiss face emojis, as soon as you start giving the FaceTime calls before bed, as soon as you start doing that, you reveal your sexual market value, you start to show her that it's going to be very hard for you to replace her. When you were a nine or a 10 in her eyes, now all of a sudden slowly, month over month, now you're an eight, now you're seven, now you're six, now the attachment's been broken, Meanwhile, your attachment to her is going up and up and up and you're sitting there with your dick in your hand wondering what the hell just happened. These are the ways that you gotta unfold yourself. And I don't care if you're in a one month relationship, a two year relationship, or you've been married for 20 years. 
Once a woman knows that you are attached to the point where you do not want to walk away under any circumstances, this is when her hypergamous nature of typically being fed in a way where she wants to look up to a man has been reversed. This is when she starts to look down on you. This is when loss of respect happens and this is when a woman bitches you. Okay, these things, anytime you engage in them, you engage in doing the girly shit, whether that's going to uh, amusement parks, Okay, needing to, it's Saturday and you want to go hang out with the boys, you want to go work in your business, you want to go do something like that's constructive for you and masculine. Anytime you take that time to go do those holiday pictures, hang out with her nieces and nephews, spend six hours on the couch doing pillow talk. These are the exact things that crushes your relationships and your dating interactions with women. Leverage is what a woman starts to obtain because the tests never stop. So when a woman is fighting for this leverage to see if you can pass her test or not, as soon as you start failing them and you allow her to gain that leverage, you start to see 50-50 doesn't exist. And the second that you are putting into it 50% and 50%, the second is she's going to actually pull that back. So now these roles will reverse. And now all of a sudden you're actually putting more into it than she was. Okay, this is when you either get dumped, heartbroken or cheated on. So these are the ways like you got to understand this at a deep level. These are the basics of female nature and the basics of female nature come when there's respect because a woman can only love a man that she genuinely respects. So detach your eyes and your ears from what traditional couples and majority of 99% of men doing. You got to look at this and you got to know every single time you watch that guy go for that kiss on the cheek in public first, slowly he's fucking up. You got to know every single time he's spending all of his vacation time, okay, going around wherever she wants to go to these, these different events and all this stuff. And he's consistently chasing her. This is where he's fucking up. You got to know that every single time, okay, he looks like a goofball with a big smile on his face as he's hugged up in same color pajamas with his girl. You got to know that he's fucking up. And what's funny too, is you're going to watch guys who have exterior status, try to do these things and they get crushed too. You will see the guy who is jacked six foot five on Instagram with a bunch of tattoos. And you think that he attracts a lot of girls and he probably does. But then you watch what happens when he commits to a, to a woman. You're going to see this where soon the pictures slow down, soon they're deleted. This is how it works. So since you know how it works now and your eyes have been open, your job is to actually stick to this and adhere to this. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.